What's up, y'all? And we're back with a spur of the moment video, to be honest. And uh, it's another offer up buying. What can I say? I'm, I'm a sucker for offer up. But when it's a good deal, it's a good deal. And for Tamiya stuff, y'all know the prices are just crazy. And finding uh, stock of stuff is pretty difficult. So. I ended up coming up uh, on something totally worth the trip to Oakley. So uh, let me turn this light on here. Okay, there you go. Uh, anyways, we're gonna get going. Um, a little hazy, waking up just still. Uh, we're gonna be warm with the van and taking a trip to Oakley with the lady. So just stay tuned to check out what. I just found it's it's epic. Yes. Oh, thank goodness, made it into the van. It is like icicles out there. Whew. I give high high respect to whoever does outdoor work, especially this time of the year. Um, uh, this year, especially too. I don't know. It feels like. This winter, uh, it's just dropped. Anyways, here in California, the weather is so bipolar. We never know what's going to happen. But it seems like that lately with Tamiya stuff, too. <laughs> uh, back to the fact, though, this offer up thing. It's not uh, unnecessary because it is an investment since I'll be opening up the shop uh, once we are moved to Greece. Um... So this is going to be uh, a really good buy, I feel like, for today and uh, for future uses as well. So we're going to be taking off here. I need to go put some gas. And then, um, yeah, on our way, I'm just waiting for my lady. You see, she's not here yet. Jeez. Takes forever to get dressed. Ah. Look who made it. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I know you took forever. <laughs> Anyways, we're on our way. Was awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. What would you think about the track? And oh my gosh, I am so speechless. Oops, I'm kind of lost in this area. Yes, the super awesome. I uh, like a lot more stuff than I expected. Um, he was super chill, really happy we made the trip out here. But uh, now we're gonna make our journey back and you're going to see the unveiling of everything because I didn't even get to go through all the track. But overall, seems like a really good buy. Bye guys, see you soon. <laughs> all right, so we're back. We made it to my room safe and sound. It's a lot of traffic, a lot of headache going from San Ramon to Oakley and then from Oakley back to San Ramon, uh, especially in the rain. You know, but we made it safe and we got all the stuff. So that's what matters. And I flip the camera around and uh, share with you uh, the haul of stuff that uh, we brought in. I'm gonna share with you what uh, something else tomorrow when we go to the shop to finish the video off. So uh, bear with me here. Uh, we're gonna get through some things little by little and uh, yeah. All right, we're back. And uh, first thing we're gonna get into is this bin. It has uh, quite a few things in it, as you can tell. Um, I kind of took some stuff out just to get it a little easier to pull stuff out since I'm one-handed right now. Uh, first thing I wanna show you is this cool picture. This is a black and white photo of the kits that also came with what I bought. 
pretty cool. I guess the previous owner was so excited about all the kids he took a cool black and white photo. Well, it came with some batteries, energizers, uh, also some end loops, the black and white ones. Um, you can see there's a charger here, some cool Tania grease, which actually is like still brand new. This is like, yeah, barely used. It's like brand new. So that's cool. Um, came with these brand new, I like to me, <laughs> pencils. Pretty stoked off those. It's the small thing sometimes. Uh, and then as we bust into this stuff, um, some simplistic things here, some stock motors, extra wheels. Um, let's put that aside. Yeah, put that there. And then we got here some accessories, more, we got some weights. It looks like some bearings there. Spacers, copper inserts, more spacers, and another, some more inserts for bearings. Um, more hardware. What else here? We got some grease. Some Dixon uh, stickers, um, tools, stays, FRP, um, and we got here uh, two cases of motors, which is awesome because I need motors. Uh, got two Mach Dash Pros, a Hyper Dash Pro, a Rev Tuned. Pro, which I have, I don't even have one of these, so that's pretty, that's pretty steezy right there. I'm excited about that one. And a Light Dash Pro, so that's all Pro Motors, and then he has for single shaft also a Light Sprint. Uh, red, I don't even have one of these for single shaft. That's awesome. Got one of these bad boys too. Another one. This, these are like hard to get right now. I'm, everywhere I go to look for a torque tune motor, they're sold out. So. Yay, and a stocky, but hey, they could, it could always come useful. And last but not least, some more accessories. These guys right here were what I was excited about. These guys, cause I'm gonna, I actually need these for a recent build of mine. Came with some uh, rollers. These are actually really good because you can drill these out and put bearings in them. I uh, came with these bad boys because, and these are really good because of, um, well, they can be used for like the top mount of the roller. Kind of like, where is it? Right here. Kind of like this build. Or you could use them for the back of a, what's it called? A pivot rear end and use them that way. But, Anyways, these are pretty much everything that came with it. Oh, we got it some, even some metal pinions. Look at that. Cool. Well, enough of that. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be going to the garage to unveil the rest of what we got. But, oh, what am I doing? Totally forgot about the cars. And we got all these cool cars. First, we got a Vaunt here. This guy is already built up. All these cars are already built up, but they're in great condition. Uh, so mostly I will be selling all these cars uh, because I don't need uh, all built up stock cars. Got a Geo Glider. This Geo Glider actually has some aftermarket stuff on it. Very cool. I believe a couple of others have some more aftermarket stuff on there. What I mean aftermarket, just like bolt on Tamiya stuff. This all original Tamiya parts, which is cool. This is a Ray Wolf. So we got some nice rollers on the back. Who's there? Oh, it's Ravioli. 
up with it. Hi, hi. So, yeah, Ray Wolf is a cool color. I like the body and all. Um, so that's card number three. And then we got here a Neo VQS 2020. This one is another one that has a couple um, bolt ons. None of these cars uh, have their chassis cut. This doesn't even have stickers put on it on the body, which is very nice. So that one's actually pretty steezy. I actually like it. Um, what do we got next? Let's grab two at a time. We got a Rise Emperor and a Keen Hawk. Rise Emperor. Intact and looking all steezy. Thank you for fixing the bed. here a keen hawk and this is the clear the purple clear edition it's pretty cool uh, some interesting color wheels you want to close up for me oh never mind it fell close <laughs> <laughs> all right now let's grab some more here and pop those open first one that's the, da, I can't say that. Daipin. Okay. Uh, da, di, I don't know. Like, it's yeah. not a word, but. It is a word. <laughs> Daip? It's a, I would call it Daipin. Uh, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. But here's the car. And apparently it's uh, kind of rare-ish to come by. So really stuck the have one in my possession with little little horsies I think on top of there that's cool uh, little horsey? yeah on top of here oh yeah it's a you horse you see it on, on here it's a horse yeah it's a neo champ pretty cool and then nice it says hyper dash on it too and then we got here a razorback these are one of the newer ones that I was wanting to get, but never got around to buying. Very interesting. FMA chassis. Got that green on black. It just reminds me of real steel. Oh, real steel because of the green. The green and the eyes look kind of like, just like the, the, the wrestler. I mean, yeah, the boxer. Yeah. Next. Okay, next we have the Italian special here. Pretty cool. It's a shadow shark. Mm -hmm. It definitely has like kind of a shark look to it. In very good condition. Ah! No. Saved it. <laughs> it didn't fall, y'all. It did not fall. <laughs> But still a great condition. MA chassis. Still looking good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we got here a Neo Tridagger ZMC. This one is like a throwback for me from when I was like a kid. Comes with uh, the, I believe it's a Super 2 or Super 1 chassis. Yeah, pretty cool. Very, very throwback-ish, especially with two little guys here. And let's, we're almost to the end here. We got three more after these two. And now we got the Victory Magnum. This is another old school kind of throwback. Mm -hmm. Not all the stickers are put on it, but in great condition still. Chassis is un, untouched. Brand spanking new. Huh. Um, so, uh, I okay. guess some extras for like, extra yeah. 
Then we got here a Gunbuster Cusco Special. I know some of you are gonna be stoked about that one. I am because this is actually a very cool one. It has the holes, the extra like uh, perforated holes in the body. Really cool, Super FM chassis. Cool. Can you figure out where yeah. those little parts go? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So it's supposed to be right here. Ah, oh, I yeah. see. Oh yeah, it's supposed to like complete the whole body. Uh, yeah. There it's we pr go. Probably have to pop the body off. But it's something like that. Nice. All right, so I think we got three more. I can grab at once here. And we got a DCR DCR uh, 01. Uh, this is a pro chassis. It's MA. It came with two bodies and upgrades on it. It has some um, bearing rollers up top and some stockies at the bottom but interesting frps front and rear and then it came with this guy pretty cool yes. and then uh, we have here another gun buster this is the philippine special Ooh, that green is really spicy. Look at that, so popping. XTO. This is definitely probably this is probably gonna be modified. I like that a lot. Last but not least, a Proto Ember Premium Black Special too. Yeah. Oof, oof. Nice colors, nice colors. It's like a gunmetal body with uh, the yellow and black. Very, very cool. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and that's the haul of uh, what cars came with the purchase today I believe that's about well, let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 cars y'all and a whole box load of accessories and batteries so I think worth the trip don't you say Rob oh yeah it was a little bit of a bumpy drive down to Oakley though, huh? Yeah, at first it was like, we're entering Silent Hill, basically. Oh yeah, most definitely, especially with all that fog. Mm -hmm. But uh, to segue into tomorrow, I hope you guys enjoyed all the colorful boxes and cars. I know we did. Um, and we'll be revealing what else there is. I'm pretty sure you've seen it already, but yeah. CNP. All right, y'all. So we made it back to the garage a couple days later with the overall big purchase. This is the second part of what I got with um, the, you know, trip to Oakley. So I was really excited because just this itself is more than 300 bucks. So, gonna be taking this inside there and uh, checking it out because I didn't really give it a look through. Uh, just a brief, uh, you know, crack open just to see if all the pieces were there. And they are. So, gonna take it inside where it's a little bit warmer and uh, see you in a few. All right, so I have not even cracked this open yet. It's still um, kind of like a hidden mystery of what's gonna be inside here i did open it very briefly but just to get a glance of even if there was track pieces i mean it's heavy so obviously 
you know, it has track in there. But here we go. Ooh. All right. A one and a two and a three. Okay. What do we got here? All right. Catcher. Cool. Microfiber. All right. Looks like we got everything. We got the lane change. Every track piece is here. Even the box. Wow, even the wave section is. All of them are still boxed up. Wow. He really did use this like only once. Man. What a find. Super happy. About well, wraps up this video, guys. Please subscribe and I hope you like this. There's gonna be more adventures like this to come and more racing to come for sure. Uh, June 22nd, I believe, is the next uh, backyard race. So we're gonna, we're getting prepared for that and we're gonna hit that one with force, hopefully come out with a win. So hopefully you guys had a great time watching this, you know, and remember, the subscribe buttons for free and uh, a share comment even is so welcome. So love you guys. Till next time.